Now the second match of the Trinidad Tour was played. The game ended nil all. A bit disappointed, an anti-climax ended to this Trinidad Tour. Jamaica won the contest of, um, overall by one goal to nil because they beat Trinidad in the first leg a one love victory. The second leg drew nil all. So overall, the Jamaica came out victor. But the second leg match played was a bit disappointing. I didn't like how the reggae boys was playing at all. It seems like they left their shooting boots at home. We saw a number of changes happening into this leg. The goal scorer, Kareem Dixon, was on the bench. Yes, we know that the coach is looking on players. Yes, we know that the coach is trying to get some local boys ready. But this is a rivalry between Jamaica reggae boys versus the Soka Warriors. And we carry no prisoner when we're playing the Soka Warriors. I know you're looking at players, but if you want to look at players, please play the Cayman Island. Please play Barbados. Please play Grenada. Please play one a next Caribbean country. But when it come on to Trinidad and Tobago, we take no prisoners. We either beat them silly or nothing at all. So I am a bit disappointed. Trinidad and Tobago should have gotten at least three goals to nil in this second leg. We should be having more goals. Just like how we beat them in the Gold Cup. Now, greetings Sport DTM fans and welcome to another exciting episode of Sports Down the Middle. Your channel of undiluted sports content. Jamaica, zero. Trinidad and Tobago, zero. And I am mad as hell. Yes, I am a bit disappointed. We saw the reggae boys play Trinidad and Tobago in the second leg and they look pathetic. We were playing like we didn't want to beat this Trinidad and Tobago team. Today we have a debutant in goalkeeper Shakon Davis. So he was a newbie to the team. We have King, Cunningham, Mins, Anglin, Marshall, Fletcher, Guthrie, Wright, and Thomas. Yes, these were the starting player for the Jamaican team. With the young goal scorer in Kahim Dixon on the bench. Now, it seems like the number 11 Thomas left his shooting boots with Cavaliers. I don't know what he was doing, but he was shooting blanks. Oh my word chance after chance after chance after chance mr thomas let me tell you something whenever you're playing trinidad and tobago we don't ease up off the gas we put them out this match between trinidad and jamaica is a rivalry a big big rivalry this is like a derby match like Manchester United versus Manchester City. This is like Argentina facing Brazil. This is like Mexico playing, I don't know, USA. But this is a big, big rivalry. Shh. Mr. Thomas, when you're in front of the goal or when you get a chance to beat somebody, beat them and kick the ball in the back of the net. Come on, man. Come on. The first half, we had Trinidad and Tobago on the ropes, but they get off and they were fighting back. The game ended nil all. That's the first half. The second half, we came out a little bit strong, hitting the post, and we were just shooting blank. It's like we had no identity like Jason Bourne. When you're playing Trinidad, you have to be like a John Wick. We take no prisoners. Now to all of these players from the JPL. 
if you want to make the final cut for the nation league you have to push somebody out of the team and this this player of football can't even push the cat out the door now back to your team in the jpl sit home like me and watch the jamaica team play nation league and copa america with this type of playing you'll get nowhere now our next game will be against the united states of america in the nation league semi-final and after that hopefully we make it to the final and then we have the copa and world cup qualification now this has been another interesting episode of sports down the middle always remember to like our video share our video leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe always remember to tell a friend so that friend could tell another friend and that friend could tell another friend be blessed